Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're going to take a little look at gold as we could be shaping up for a long opportunity uh, for the remainder of the week. Now, what we've been waiting for on gold is to come back into this key support area, um, which we highlighted from the weekly time frame. So if we just jump up into that time frame. You can see why I'm looking at that area in particular as a supporting area, just because the market used this area as resistance more recently and price broke out of that zone. So I'm looking for price to come back down, retest these highs. I actually should move that zone a little bit higher. Retest these uh, highs in here uh, for a move up. Now, what we may actually see is a slight move up into 1480, uh, another move down into around about that 1430, 1440 area before another move. That's what we could be eyeing up on gold. But looking at the price action currently on the daily time frame, suggesting to me that we could potentially be in for a long position coming in. So you can see that we've retested the uh, 19th of July highs. And what happened yesterday is we had this pretty pretty much an indecision candle. It was bearish and we did get a bearish close on the indecision candle, but you can see the wicks coming into the market there. Now, what I look for is something that we call, uh, I call the uh, sort of tennis ball effect, um, where the market kind of, uh, if I was to draw it out, let me just get a pen tool. Um, if the market was approaching a uh, supporting area, what I expect to see is the market kind of come into the area, bounce around, accumulate, and then move higher. So um, that's why I always look for double bottom patterns, um, cycle changing patterns, such as a head and shoulders and things like that, because it's shown to me that the market is producing that tennis ball effect. Almost when you drop the tennis ball, it will bounce higher the first time, lose momentum the second time, and then the third time it usually, or third or fourth time, usually just sort of drops around. Just shows that price is finding a bit of support or resistance, uh, depending on which way you're trading, before looking for an opportunity. So that's what I typically look for when coming into some support and resistance areas. And in trading terms, that's looking at wicks. Okay, so looking at the wicks dropping in uh, to those support zones, seeing if we can get uh, some bullish price action. You can see that the RSI has also going, gone into that sort of oversold condition at this support zone. Again, adding a little bit of weight to what we're looking at uh, here on gold. We'll just drop down into a hourly time frame, just to give you a little bit of perspective of what's going on. So I just want to put in the uh, some key levels. So we've got Monday's high. So this is what happened on Monday. And we have Monday's low. Okay, so this is what I'm sort of working with at the moment. Um, and we have this sort of midpoint through here, which is uh, an area of support and resistance on gold short term. So if I just push that back, you can see that the market found some support, support, breakthrough, resistance. So I'm looking for the market to climb above that sort of area and Monday's high if we can. So what I'm really looking for is um, the market to push up, find this area of support, push up again, find that area of support, come up into that 1480 where we may see a reversal down. Let me just move that over a little bit may see a reversal down then okay so keep your eye on this time frame i mean you can look into the lower time frames and look for any kind of cycle changes in here but i'd really like to see um, the market kind of break these highs around about that 1458 area before really starting to get involved on gold okay so keep your eye on it we're back into this key supporting area let's see if we can get some bullish price action for a move back up into that 1480 it's been John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst at Blueberry Markets. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll speak to you soon.